The Alice L. Walton School of Medicine has picked a surgeon and women's health leader to guide the Bentonville-based medical program. And organizers say she'll help them teach a whole health approach. Five News reporter Jose Carranza spoke to the school's president on what its founding dean and CEO means. She's a servant leader who has lived her life the way she's performed as a professional. The Alice L. Walton School of Medicine has picked its founding dean and CEO. Organizers with the school say Dr. Shamila Makijo will become the school's newest visionary. The leader who comes in with a humble spirit creates a culture of doctors in the future, creates a culture of staff who follows that. So she fits us in many, many ways. With her achievements in the clinical and academic communities, and as a women's health expert, president of Healthcare Transformation, Walter Harris says, Dr. Makijo will continue the school's goal of teaching a whole health approach. If a patient goes in a hospital, we want them to be motivated and encouraged to know they're going to come out of there healthier than they, when they went in. And when they leave the hospital system, we want them to take charge of that so they don't have to find themselves going back into a system because they didn't have the proper tools and education to get there. With an expected class size of 48 students, Harris says the program will be a national medical school, but is working with the existing health systems to impact the surrounding region. They're doing a great job in this region of keeping the health where it is. Now we want to assist them in raising all the boats a bit higher. And so a medical school, partnering with medical schools that currently exist in the region, makes us a stronger health education and health delivery region. In Bentonville, covering news where we live, Jose Carranza, 5 News. Dr. Makija is said to begin her new role as founding dean and CEO in May. The school is pending accreditation, but the first student should start classes in fall 2025.